So I want to do kind of a quick overview for you here of the built-in gimbal mount on the F450 uh, Retrax here. This is for like a Taro T2D or like a Fiotac brushless gimbal. It would connect to this right here uh, using the kind of the claw, the V-claw uh, attachments that come with those gimbals. Uh, or if you're using like the H3 3D gimbal, for example, you would connect to this right here. This is a built-in attachment for that. Um, this also would allow you to mount the stock Phantom accessories because this is the exact uh, mounting uh, pattern here for the Phantom 2. So like I say, the stock DJI accessories as well as isolation GoPro mounts that you could use, all of those would work on there as well. So kind of really convenient there. Gives you six inches of clearance here, as you can see from here to the ground. Um, and of course a nice sturdy stance that's going to support the whole frame we have here this is a is this is a five pound bag of flour and i'm just going to set that right on top of this setup here to kind of show you guys how the landing gear reacts to a bunch of weight so and you can tell this is a this is a five pound bag flour it is unopened and we'll just set that right on top of there okay pretty awesome and if you look at the legs they're not even bowing I mean it's handling the weight just fine it's got a lot of strength and stability I and mean, even when you put it on there like that and then you just got and you got the whole thing too so in other words the point is, is if you got a heavy quad these are built they're tough and they're gonna handle that weight and it's gonna keep your quad balanced and sturdy on there so I'll show you guys from a side view here. So I'm going to take the five pound bag of flour here. Okay, and we'll just set that right on there. Like that. Take it back off of there. I just replaced the eight screws underneath there. Uh, take them out, put the plate on there, put them back in, and you're good to go. And that's how you'll attach it there to the bottom. And again, these legs are removable. They just clip in and out of these holders here. They're designed to fit with the design of the actual retract unit. So you can pull these out and pull that out there. And you can see these ridges right here. It's designed to clip in. And you can hear it clip in like that. Okay. You just want to wait and hear the click just like that when you're inserting those. And then that way they're, they're nice and secure in there. After you get the legs all plugged in, you want to go ahead and plug in each one of the retract units to the server Y cable. And as you can see there, that's how your colors match up for that when you go to install it. Now that both of the retract units are plugged into the server Y cable, you'll just plug this into an open channel on your receiver. In this case, channel 5 is the one that we're going to use this program to switch on the transmitter. So we'll just plug that in to channel 5. So that's plugged into channel 5. Now what we're going to do is just turn on the transmitter here. And then we're going to plug in the battery power. We plug this into channel 3. There we go. Alright, so we've got that all set up. I'm just going to kind of hold this here. And then definitely gets those legs out of the way. So once you have your gimbal on there and you're doing your 360 degree spin, those gear right out of the way. Coming in for a landing, we go back down. And I actually have this program to a knob, but you again switch or a knob, but it gives it a really cool look. Gets those nice and out of the way there for you. 